Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling a Zimbulo. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and it's good to be back. We've done a lot of work on Zim 9.2.0, and we've even moved into 9.2.1. So, uh, let's catch up a little bit. We'll go to the updates now at zimjs.com, and then you press on the docs and click the updates. And here we are in Zim. Let's take a look at 9.2.0. We have a pen. Ooh, so we'll copy this URL right here and paste it up in the window. Ba -da -bop. Here it comes. There it is. Look at it go. Whee! So what we just did there is animated a pen along a squiggle. So these letters were made out of squiggles in about I don't know, two or three minutes. And uh, using the Zim Pizzazz 4, so uh, I can show you where that is in just a second. Uh, and here's the pen. Ooh, so this one is like a kite. Whoa! Kite tail, it's called. And then if you want, you can make a city. <laughs> a city in the background. Nice, give it some grass. La -dee 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 -dee. So these are the various types of pens that come with it. And of course, barbed wire. <laughs> And smog. There's smog somewhere. Splatter. I think it is. <laughs> there we go. So uh, these are all adjustable. And uh, now this is an example of um, preparing a small application that makes use of these pens. Uh, this took uh, less than an evening. So it was just part of an evening to create this little application with the different types and the colors and so forth. I like the default color for hair. Here's the default color for hair. <laughs> this is hair. But if you wanted, well, maybe brown hair or something, there's brown hair or dark and dark hair, etc. So you can change colors of pens, as well as various sizes and the spreads, which is how random these things are. So um, the plan is to make actually uh, an app, an animated app, where one whole big panel comes up and talks about how to animate these things because I've been making some drawings with them just quickly. Shall we do a desktop reveal? Oh, not a desktop reveal. Shall we do a desktop reveal? Bum. So that was made with uh, Zim Pen, and these things, in just a couple minutes. And what we're doing is we're animating the size of the pen bigger and then looping and getting bigger and then looping and getting bigger and if you rewind in there then you start getting different things so it, it turns out it's really fun to do this generative art uh, stuff with Zim Pen so we'll come back to that let's try an easy pen now though so we've opened up a document here called easy pen and we're using Zim 9.2.0 would be fine or 9.2.1 now and we'll do that animation along a squiggle trick. So uh, var path, we'll call it, is equal to a new, can you see that okay? Try and make that a bit bigger. A new squiggle dot center on the stage. So there it is. And then we say uh, var pen is equal to a new pen like so, dot animate, and we will say the props will be path, the path. Probably an orient true would be uh, best. I don't know if it makes a difference, but orient tries to turn the object to face the, the path, and there's no need to do that with the pen. Well, in this case, I don't think there is uh, with just a line, but maybe there is when you're doing something like hair, you might want it to actually turn and go along the path. Uh, I'm not sure. We could try that. Orient uh, false, like that. Comma. And how long? Well, the default would be one second. Is there anything else that we want to tell it? Uh, well, time, colon. We'll put it in there so we can do some adjustments. I don't think we want to rewind or anything like that. Uh, one thing, when we make the path, we have the option, oh sorry, when we make the pen, we have the option to say how much damping there is. And if we don't want damping at all, damp colon false. We can turn that off or set it to one. Alrighty, did we put something on the stage? That's on the stage. I 
think we need to put the pen on the stage too. Dot uh, add to. Alrighty, and let's see what happens when we view this then in a browser. Well, that was kind of sucky when we when we added it to. It drew a line from here to there. <laughs> Everything else worked pretty well. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, so, what do we need to do about that? Get back to the code. Back to the code and say we could position it at the first point of the squiggle. Or is there anything else that would be helpful? Um, not sure. So uh, I guess we'll try a pose then, or a loke is a little bit easier. Loke the um, this pen at the path dot uh, point circles at zero. So that's the first point, the point circles or the point controls. Either either one would probably give you the first one there. Uh, let's run it again. Also, that was a little bit fast. Uh, we want some. We want some suspense here, and our pen is thinner than our squiggle, which is necessarily optimal, but that's probably okay. So there it goes. As if I pull this like that, <laughs> still goes. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> there goes the pen along the path. Uh, you don't have to see the path, and, and the path can be created ahead of time. So, oh, I mentioned I would go show you. Shall we go find a path together? Let's go to Zim, hit the Zim Neo, and then Pizzazz 4, and we can see a menu of paths. Uh, which one shall we do? How about this one? And so you grab the code for that, like that, copy. So we, we just hit, uh, how do I get off of this thing? We just hit the code. And now we've copied the code. That goes into the squiggle as the path of the squiggle. Oh, points, points, colon, and there it is. So this is all the points that we just got. We pass into the points of the squiggle. And we save that and refresh back here on the easy. Woo! And there it is going down the line. Now you can also set the squiggle to be interactive. One of the new things in Zim 9.2, I believe, is we've added an interactive false to the squiggle. I think that turns the path off as well. So, or the, sorry, the uh, things you pull on the controls. So there it is with the controls not showing. Zoom. And we also might want to uh, hide it even. So where should we do that? Dot center. Dot alp. Zero. That's one way. I don't. I. I think we can do it without even adding it to the stage. So if we say add colon false in there, I can't remember if center has an add false. But anyway, center reg certainly does. Anyway, and I'll zero will also do it. And there's the squiggle drawing on the screen. Isn't that cool? And it's really easy to record those squiggles either yourself. Uh, you can drag things around and then any button or whatever, say record points and in round brackets true. And it will pop up a window so that you can record that. Um, so uh, there's playing with uh, the pen, and you can choose different types. So pen type, pen type, I believe it is. We can say pen type kite, it's kite string, kite tail, I think it is. Maybe with a capital T. And let's check it out. Well, that doesn't look like a kite tail to me, so we did something wrong. Maybe it's all lowercase. Maybe it's not pen type. Maybe we should go check the documentation. Oh, there it is. Cool, huh? So now uh, let's increase the size of that squiggle. 
just doubling it. Uh, ska would be fine too. Cool. Um, I think we scot it after we centered it, so scale it twice as big. And centering, there's also uh, different sizes that we can put on the pen itself to make that bigger. Nice, huh? All right. Uh, one of the things that we made with Zimpan, aside from this, <laughs> this drawing, is... Uh, where do we have a copy of that? here I think called Fuse because if you uh, let's open this up in a browser so here we have one of those squiggles that just came from the wild squiggle by Andy Ernie I think and we've got a match that we can drag with a flame on the top and as we bring this up we're going to do a hit test we're going to animate a particle emitter spark along the path but we're also going to animate a black pen along the path. The same animation and watch what happens. Isn't that cool? So there it is. There's the black pen. Watch as we draw across the line. That's the black pen following. And we're erasing the path in behind. So that's handy as well to give a fuse like this with an explosion. So welcome to Zim, you guys. That is, uh, just take a quick peek at the docs to show you where all that stuff is. If we can get to the docs. Type in pen. And there it is. Size, color, pen type, damping, spread, border color, border width, and shape, nib. So you can attach an object, any display object, to the pen's front. And that works. Uh, the control key will pause the pen, I believe, or stop. No, it allows you to pick up the, the pen. So you can just drag the pen or do it on mouse follow. So we've made this so that it also goes into the so that it also goes into the motion controller. But tell you what, maybe we should do a little um, a little explore on pen and spend some more time fooling around with it. Right now, this is a bubbling. Uh, bubbling, what's bubbling is zim to tell you, hey, what's new? And the pen uh, has a lot of potential. <laughs> we are planning on uh, making an app uh, in, in the near future with the pen, uh, a little bit beyond our rough app that we made there that will let us play with that even more. I'm inventor Dan Zen. Come on into Zim at zimjs.com and join us uh, at, at Slack if you want, zimjs.com slash Slack. Say hi, come on in, a lot of fun things going on. Ciao.